There are a lot of fish in the ocean. Most of them are pretty normal, run-of-the-mill fish. But then we have these pretty unusual creatures of the deep. Number one is beyond unusual, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Here are the most unusual fish in the ocean. Number 10. The Fangtooth. Named for their rather excessively large fang-like teeth and terrifying appearance, Anopogloster carnata, or more commonly known as the fangtooth, is actually pretty small and harmless to humans. The larger common fangtooth reaches a maximum length of 6.3 inches, and the short thorn fangtooth is just about half of this size. They feed on small fish, shrimp, and squid. When they are young, they filter zooplankton from the water and migrate closer to the surface at night to feed on crustaceans. Unlike other predators that ambush their prey, these fish are active hunters. Their large heads allow them to swallow a third of their size prey. When their mouths are full, they cannot pump water over their gills. Thus, they produce large gaps between their gills and use their pectoral fins to fan water over their gills from behind. Not much information on their reproduction were recorded, so we're not quite sure how many of them there are still out there. They never guard their eggs, so these young are on their own since birth. Because of their appearance, they also don't really look good served on a plate. Number 9. The Blobfish In the aquatic world, we know sea creatures that can be considered absolutely stunning, such as the mandarin fish, the rainbow parrotfish, and the clownfish. Unfortunately for every beauty that can be found in the deep, there is always a beast as well. And no other fish fits this apt description more than the blobfish. In all fairness, they don't always look like an old man's melting face. That's just a side effect of taking it out of the great water pressure present in its natural habitat, the deep ocean. In fact, it's actually about 3,000 feet below sea level. They actually look like any other normal fish, when thousands of PSI of pressure is bearing down on them on all sides. But because of fishermen's trawling nets, the pressure of the water decreases and blobfish begins to lose their shape. Their bodies don't really need bones and muscles since the crushing pressure of the depth supports them. These fish are ambush hunters, so staying out serves a double purpose here. Guard the next generation, and wait for tasting invertebrates to pass by for the taking. Its diet consists mainly of mollusks and crabs that happen to cross its path. Also, blobfish are extremely endangered, having only 420 of them left on Earth. Number 8. The Male Jawfish when it comes to the traditional division of labor between moms and dads, females more often than not do the job of taking care of the babies, while the males are the providers. However, in the animal kingdom, they have what is technically called nurturing marmosets, or fathers whose jobs primarily requires them to do the roles usually done by the mothers, which is carrying fertilized eggs to term. Male jawfish are the perfect example of these because after fertilization, the male takes the eggs into his mouth and incubates them for several days, or sometimes even weeks. Amazingly, they go through this period without eating. It's not like they just stand guard by the eggs, oh no. They actually keep the eggs in their mouths, constantly shifting them around, making sure that each egg is sufficiently aerated. After hatching, the babies usually stay on the same area as their parents, but no longer receive parental care. In this case, only a few survive. There's no documented explanation why the male jawfish has to do this, but experts assume that since there's a low survival rate for their young, the male takes the job of the brooder while the female takes a lot of rest to reproduce more often. By producing massive numbers of babies, parents make sure that there are more of them that survive into adulthood. Number 7. The Tasseled Scorpionfish the unlucky prey of the scorpion fish never sees what's coming until it's too late. Members of the scorpion fish family are experts at blending in with their surroundings, making them unparalleled ambush predators in their habitat. Fish belonging to the scorpion fish family are also some of the most poisonous animals in the ocean. The combination of their physical appearance and venomous spines make the scorpion fish a force to be reckoned with in the sea. Found on widespread Indo-West Pacific waters, they carry highly dangerous and venomous spines along its back. People have accidentally stepped on these spines and have had documented fatal results. Adults are bearded with a number of tassels below the jaw, and come in a variety of colors. They deceive their prey by blending with their surroundings over coral and rocky areas of clear water channels and outer reef slope. This enables them to wait for their victims to come close before lunging forward and grasping their prey with their large mouths. After all, they're not called masters of camouflage for nothing. When disturbed, they raise the spines along their backs for protection and will usually move out of harm's way. 
number six. The Anglerfish. You might have seen an angry looking fish in the movie Finding Nemo, which lives in the murky depths of the ocean. Generally dark gray to dark brown in color, and also have huge heads and enormous crescent shaped mouths filled with sharp translucent teeth. Yes, that is called the anglerfish, and it's quite possibly the ugliest animal on the planet. Female anglerfish can be quite large, reaching 3.3 feet in length, while males often barely reach a foot. Because of the size difference, they have a very interesting way of reproduction. When a young, free-swimming male encounters a female, he latches onto her with his sharp teeth. Over time, the male physically fuses with the female, connecting to her skin and bloodstream and losing his eyes and all his internal organs, except his reproductive organs. A female will carry six or more males on her body at a time, and when the time comes, all males and the females release their sperm and eggs into the water at the same time. How the females and males reduce to essentially just going ahead to achieve such a feat is still unknown. However, it is speculated that it has something to do with hormonal signals between the female and the attached males. Number 5. The Red Handfish. Handfish grow to 5.9 inches long and have skin covered with denticles. Anyway, these tooth-like scales gave the handfish their alternate name of warty anglers. They are slow-moving fish that prefer to walk rather than swim, using their modified pectoral fins to move about on the sea floor. They are found in southern Australia, predominantly in Tasmania, and they're already listed as critically endangered species with an adult population estimated to be about 100 in 2019. They are in fact protected under the Tasmanian Law and the Commonwealth's Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act of 1999. Like other marine animals, handfishes have huge appetites, mainly for small crustaceans and worms, and have the ability to quickly eliminate eggs from their predators. However, they cannot cope with fierce predators such as starfish. That is a weird sentence for me to say, honestly. Because of their limited distribution and low egg production, this limits the capacity of the species to occupy a larger range and makes it vulnerable to localized population extinction. Number 4. The Frilled Shark The Frilled Shark is a strange, prehistoric-looking shark that lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time in deep, dark waters far below the sea surface. Its long cylindrical body reaches lengths of nearly 7 feet and its fins are placed far back on the body. The Frilled Shark gets its name from the frilly appearance of its gill slits, and because of its unusual appearance, they're often called sea serpents. They are active predators who prefer eating squids and may lunge at potential prey, swallowing it whole, even if it is quite large. Their rows of long teeth, each with three long points, are perfect for snagging the soft bodies of its prey. It is believed that once its mouth caught something, there was no way of escaping, well except down the shark's throat, through the digestive system and out the other end, no longer looking what it used to be. Though they specialize on squids, frilled sharks are known to eat a variety of fishes and also other sharks. Information about them is still limited since they are rarely encountered in the wild, so as with their ecology. So there's still a lot to be discovered about them. Number 3. The Triggerfish. Triggerfish are known for having powerful teeth that can easily pierce and crush the hard shells of crabs, sea urchins, shrimps, sand dollars, lobsters, and mollusks. They have small mouths with unusually strong jaws, perfect for feeding on their hard-shelled prey. Triggerfish can be found in the eastern Pacific from Mexico to Chile, and are infamous for their nasty attitude. It is pretty evident around nests, where intruders from other fish to even human divers are likely to be charged or bitten. They can grow up to be 13 pounds, 20 inches, and age up to 16 years old. Male triggerfish establish territories, build nests in the sand, and entice females into the nest to spawn. The male and female tightly circle one another in the nest, rapidly changing color. Then the female deposits eggs with an average of 772,415 in the nest shortly afterward. After fertilization, females aerate the eggs by fanning and blowing on them. These fish are pretty defensive that just one male can defend up to three active nests on one reef. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is something that looks more like a dragon than a fish. Find out what it is next with the number two, the lancet fish. With gaping fang jaws, enormous eyes, a sail fin, and long, slithery body, lancet fish makes it on the second most unusual fish in the ocean. These fishes are naked of scales, with skin covered in pores, and have a size of more than seven feet long, getting the largest deep sea fishes of all time record. 
One weird thing about these fish is that they are hermaphrodites, meaning they both have male and female sex organs. However, how they reproduce is still a complete mystery. Their flesh is watery and gelatinous and generally not appetizing to humans. However, to other large predators like sharks, tuna, and fur seals, they're not so picky. They're considered easy prey because they're not fast swimmers. And because they can't swim very fast, scientists suspect lancet fish are ambush predators. They flow quietly camouflaged in the water until unsuspecting prey comes near enough to strike. NOAA scientists are looking at the stomach contents of lancet fish to understand their mysterious midwater food web. Food found in lancet fish stomachs is often found in a nearly pristine state, barely digested. So they speculate that lancet fish may eat as much as they can whenever they find food, then digest it later when they need it. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Viperfish The Viperfish is one of the most unusual looking fish in the deep sea, and has also built a reputation for being one of the fiercest predators of the deep. This fish can be easily recognized by its large mouth and sharp, fang-like teeth. These fangs are so large they actually don't fit inside their mouths. These fangs are thought to be used to impale their victims by swimming at them at high speeds. In spite of its ferocious appearance, the viper fish is a relatively small animal, growing to only 11 or 12 inches in length. Because of the extreme depths at which they are found, very little is known about the reproductive habits of the viper fish. Experts believe that they are external spawners, meaning female releases eggs into the water to be fertilized. These larvae are approximately 6 millimeters long when they hatch and are left to fend for themselves until they can reach maturity. Not much is known about their lifespan either, but most researchers think that they live between 15 and 30 years. But in captivity, they rarely live longer than a few hours. Did we leave any weird fish out? Of course we have to make sure, so you let us know in the comments. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.